So, I'm going to take you on a little van tour of the famous AE Macintosh van. <laughs> okay, now I've been reluctant to make the van video because I've not been totally happy with my van setup and the way we work. But since I had a car and I've moved to a van, my business has really developed from being just a traditional window cleaner to offering the range of services that we now offer as a business. So this van has seen us through like a transitional period really. So I'll show you how we're using it anyway and uh, what we do, we'll talk about some of the things we do along the way, okay? So we'll start in the back here. Uh, this, By the way, this is um, an ex-British gas van so that comes with certain features like uh, the lock on the outside. Some of this stuff is uh, extra security, British gas fit those. The racking in the back here British gas fitted and it's all bolted to the floor, really secure. So this is really handy for me for keeping various cleaning solutions. Got a first aid kit in case Craig breaks a nail, something like that, it's always treatment for him. Um, but I've got GG4 in here, window cleaning solution. We've also got Titan Green, which is a bit more heavy duty. A1 hard water stain remover. UPVC restorer, it's all kept in here, just in case I need it. We've got um, a roof scraper tool with spare blades, all kept in there. And some other cleaning solutions for cleaning patios and driveways. I keep some biocide in there, some UPVC cleaner as well. In here we've got a heavy duty paint stripper gel. Um, so if someone's dropped paint on their driveway or patio, that will always remove it. And then some gloves. Then on this side, we've got just a little spray bottle, fuel can, fairy liquid. We've got some buckets for clearing out gutters or sweeping up muck, moss and muck. And then a couple of hose reels. So I've got a big 50 meter hose reel there. And then a smaller, I just keep a smaller kind of 15, 20 meter, just handy ladder mats for stabilizing the ladder and then we've got a cleaning sign cleaning in progress essential when did you use that last <laughs> didn't get used all that often and then up here we've got some cleaning cloths and um, car wash mitt type things for making the manta ray manta ray, manta ray car Pat mitts patent pending <laughs> and then up here i've got all my water fed pole brushes so we've got the ionics brush uh, I've got some Unger brushes as well, so spare brushes. So obviously this is not ideal. You can see the way they're all piling up on the back shelf here. Um, you can see why you need a bigger van and more space. But let's move around. Come this way. See I've got my ladder on top. Ramsey ladder. Good sturdy ladder that. So on this side we can see where my poles squeeze in up on the shelf there. So British Gas, all this metal racking, British Gas also have racking across the middle of the van here, which that section of racking I've taken out. But we can see these boxes as well. So it allows me to fit the poles in. And here I've got my over eight pole with the swivel head. Loving this pole at the moment, it's fantastic. I've got my Unger pole. I really like this one for um, glass roofs, conservatory roofs, things like that. I really love the long bristles. And then my Vertigo pole from Ionic, which I've been using a lot for cladding. Uh, it's also good for the spray. So here in here, I've got the Constant Flow spray kit, which I've been using for spraying chemicals on fascias and cladding. That's really good. And of course, my Unger Hydro Power, that sits in there, strapped in nicely, so it doesn't go too far. And then I've got a couple of aluminium poles here, standard Unger aluminium poles, pretty standard stuff. And electricity cable. So using the Skyvac, gutter vacuum, um, I've got my cable there. I'll usually just hook it up to the customer's power supply. 50 meter cable, nice and long, so we can always reach wherever we need to go. And then down here, I've got my DIY pump system with my pump and battery and flow controller under here. So, uh, so come around the front, come around the other side. We'll show you more around. Come around. So around this side, 
I've got plenty of room to fit in whatever I need to load in the van. Most days I have to just try and think ahead a little bit to what I'm going to be doing that day so I can make sure I carry the right equipment that I need to have with me. So for example my pump system there it might mean that I've got barrels of pure water if I'm planning to do some water fed pole window cleaning. Today we've got the Skyvac here so we've been using the Skyvac today and that loads in nicely but as you can see if I've loaded the Skyvac up I haven't then got room for barrels necessarily for doing pure water cleaning so I rely on the hydro power. If I've got a job where I'm doing pressure washing and gutter cleaning I can't fit in the pressure washer and the gutter cleaning equipment at the same time but I can fit one or the other so it's another reason why I've not been totally happy with this van setup and I'm, I'm looking for a bigger van. But you can see in here, just by the side of the shelving is all our scrims, microfibers and seal cloths. They all go in together so that they're all stored there. And then I've got a box here with all the window cleaning spares basically. I've um, got spare rubbers, super channel. Here we've got a uh, contact foam solution to go with the spray bottle, some Mormon squeeze, all my Ergotec squeegees, stuff like that. All the spares kept in there. Oh, I've got a Mormon snapper handle. And then up on the back here, you can see all these boxes. So these are British gas, so I keep spares outside tap spares so if I'm using a water supply I don't want to get to a job and I'm stuck for the correct fitting that I want for my hose so I always keep tons of spares so that whenever I get to a job no matter what the situation is I know I'm always going to have the right tap connector um, so I try and cover every eventuality so I keep loads of spares there some other things in here um, spare nozzles for my pressure washer spare scraper blades some spare fan jets, that kind of thing. Yeah, all sorts of stuff. You never know what you might need in here. Yeah, you know, spare one of them to protect my fittings for my water. Some tape, you never know what you might need a bit of tape. Right, so that's that. Do you want to see the epicenter of the 80 Macintosh fan? And then here we are in the nerve center of 80 Macintosh right here. This is like behind, I feel like this is behind the scenes of Ashley and Craig. <laughs> well, this is where it all happens. Um, I don't know really what you want to see in here. This is where I keep my diary. <laughs> leaflets. Uh, this is where I keep my leaflets. So there it is. Hope you enjoyed the van tour. This is how we work. Check out my channel. Find out more on all the exterior cleaning services that we provide. Uh, more hints and tips on everything we do, product reviews, and the new van is on the way. So, really excited about my new van setup, how that's going to work. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Okay, that's the van tour. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching.